In this section, we're going to compare Angular, React, and Vue. We're going to talk about performance, full stack, popularity and job market, upscaling, and jQuery. In this video, we're going to talk about performance. First, we'll start with picking method of comparison. Then, we're going to find the best benchmark. At the end, we're going to go through the results. It is really non-trivial to compare the performance of JavaScript frameworks. Frameworks can be good at one thing, for example, doing quick updates to the document object model, but for example, they can have another downside, like very long boot time. Another thing is that when we have some kind of leap in front-end technology, then other frameworks quickly also adapt to this new changing ground. For example, many frameworks use Virtual DOM to schedule updates to the DOM. Also, frameworks have their own run loop. And, for example, some time ago, React made their rendering engine faster. Later, a framework called Ember created their own rendering engine called Glimmer, inspired by what React has achieved. We can also compare performance of web applications in at least two ways. One way is to run benchmarks, and second way is compare real applications that already use some framework. Generally speaking, when some framework is good at benchmarks, it should behave also well in real-world applications. But it's not always the case. Currently, we're on Stefan Krause blog. On this blog, we can find JS Web Frameworks benchmark. This is open source project. As we can see, at this moment, it has a lot of stars and it's really popular. We can also find lots of frameworks compared here. We can find the results of the benchmark in a blog post. We can also go to the results page and find results interesting for us. Here we can find comparison of performance between different frameworks. We can see different tasks on the left. For example, create thousand rows, replace all rows, partial update, selecting row, swapping row, removing row, etc. However, we are interested in Angular, React, and Vue. So we can choose these frameworks from here. So these are the results for Angular, React, and Vue. As we can see, it takes 200 milliseconds for Angular to create 1000 rows. React is a bit faster, about 10 milliseconds faster, and Vue is 30 milliseconds faster than Angular 2 when it comes to creating 1000 rows. Vue also does great job at replacing all rows. It also wins comparison. Results are quite similar because also we need to take into consideration standard deviation. When it comes to selecting row, the performance is also very similar. Next interesting thing is creating 10,000 rows. Again, Vue is the fastest at this benchmark. But if we were to add another 1,000 rows to already existing 10,000 rows, we can see that Vue is actually the slowest. But then when we want to clear the 10,000 rows, Vue is way faster than Angular and React. It's 1.5 times faster. Vue also is the fastest when it comes to startup time. React is a bit slower than Vue, and Angular is two times slower than Vue.js when it comes to startup. However, to me, all these three frameworks are very fast. This benchmark, however, doesn't guarantee that your application will work as fast as you can see here. When creating new applications, you need to follow frameworks' best practices to achieve best results. For example, you need to find out what you need to do to avoid unnecessary re-renders. Also, performance shouldn't be the only thing you take into consideration when picking a framework. Please keep this in mind. In this video, we've compared performance of Angular, React, and Vue.